G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean and today we're taking a look at a very, very cool product. This is the ASUS ROG Strix Scope RX Optical Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. It's $179 in Australia. We're gonna get it out of the box, see what it's like and whether or not it is worth considering buying. If you guys like this kind of content, don't forget to chuck it a like, get subscribed and let's begin. Alrighty, so before we get into the unboxing, I just want to quickly say a big thank you to ASUS ROG for sending this keyboard over to me for review. This is the first, I guess, mechanical optical switch that I've actually checked out. I've never checked out one with an optical mechanical switch before. Um, the version that I've got today is the ROG RX Red, so it's a linear and swift keystroke. So it should mean that it's nice and silent, perfect for when you're maybe gaming and streaming and talking to people. You know, the last thing that you want to hear as a viewer is the sound of the person's keyboard that they're typing on. Um, so this is going to be hopefully perfect for that, and it's definitely my personal preference in terms of switches. This keyboard is a water and dust resistant keyboard as well, so it's going to be great in case you are someone who is um, maybe always around drinks and food and you maybe accidentally spill things from time to time. This is going to withstand all of that. Um, it does sync with ASUS Aura Sync as well. That was a mouthful, but I actually really like that ecosystem and the fact that you can now get graphic cards, motherboards, keyboards, mice, a whole bunch of things that all sync with one program is a definite sort of must have in my opinion when you're branching out and you're making a whole bunch of other different products. Having you know one program to manage all of the lighting is very, very nice. Now this keyboard is a full size keyboard so you get a number pad, function row keys, fully customizable RGB. Um, I haven't read too much up about this keyboard. Literally, I know the price and some of the information that you're seeing on the box right now. But let's flip this over and see what we're dealing with in terms of on the backside. Um, you've got obviously media and function keys there, a stealth key, USB 2.0 pass-through, per key RGB lighting, an alloy top cover, on-the-fly macro recordings, and a enlarged control key for FPS games, which for me, like this is just sort of a dream keyboard. Um, I'm usually someone who does like a bit of a smaller keyboard. So, you know, you can get this in a smaller version as well, I believe. Um, but this is going to be a keyboard that hopefully will last a long, long, long time. The optical mechanical switches, they say, you know, you get one millisecond response and up to a hundred million um, keystroke lifespan. So that's going to last you a long, long, long time. And with that alloy top plate, that top cover, it's hopefully going to have that build quality that's going to last as well. Um, light it up with ROG per key RGB LEDs with central lighting all round illumination, backlit ROG logo with customizable lighting effects. Obviously, we'll go into that a bit more later. FPS ready, extended control key for crouch and other commands, USB 2 pass through, so that's gonna be great if you wanna charge a device, maybe like your phone, or maybe have the receiver there for like your wireless mouse or something, um, and a stealth key, tap to hide all your apps and mute audio for instant privacy. So if you're playing a game and maybe you're at work or something and your boss walks up behind you, you've got one key and you can sort of hide everything, or maybe from your mum or your girlfriend or something like that. Um, Keyboard in terms of dimension, so it's 440 mil in length, 137 mil in, I guess, width, and then 39 millimeters in height. So not a super high, super thick keyboard. Um, 1,070 grams though, so it's gonna be hopefully nice and sturdy, not too much deck flex. Um, end key rollover, 1,000 hertz polling rate, all the things that you would expect on a premium product. So let's get this out of the box and see how it actually feels. So we'll just flip it up here, we'll grab the knife, Slice through there and slice through here. Hopefully we can get this all on camera. It's gonna be quite interesting though to see what sort of accessories that you get on a keyboard for $179 because ASUS is generally pretty generous um, with like what kind of accessories you get with their products. Definitely all about the gamer, the ASUS ROG products. So you've got here a little, you know, in search of incredible warranty card. You've got some ROG stickers, Republic of Gamer, and then you've got, you know, the actual package contents, what comes included with your keyboard and, you know, gives you a bit more technical information, um, you know, how to get it set up and all that kind of stuff. So very, very straightforward. 
I'm assuming that this is going to be pretty much plug and play though, and there might be some drivers you want to download from the ASUS website. But let's actually take this cover off. I'm going to try and get this on camera as much as possible. Just bear with me for one second. Um, oh my God. Okay, I've already got a few thoughts straight away. Let me just put that away. Get this keyboard out of the little bag. Oof. Okay, wow, this is, this is something. This is definitely something. Okay, so we've got the keyboard here. I don't know if you guys can sense it from how I'm feeling right now, but man, this keyboard feels nice. And the keys, oh, they feel so buttery smooth, nice and linear. Um, the sound of everything is just, oh, it's so nice. Everything feels really dampened. And first impressions, like typing on this keyboard is just heaven. It is so good. Um, also, the braided, oh, not braided cable. This cable that comes out of the back of it, I'm not seeing like this kind of cable before. Don't know if you can kind of tell on camera, but it's like a, it's like a soft touch rubber and it doesn't seem to like, um, like have a really bad cable memory. And what I mean by that is the cable doesn't sort of scrunch up and stay in that, um, that same position. It's like really nice and soft. It's almost like that braided kind of cable that you get where it like it doesn't coil up and, and stay in a set position, but it's got a rubber soft touch on the outside and it's really smooth. It's definitely a higher quality plastic or rubber or whatever they've got here than what you're normally going to get on a keyboard like this. Um, you've got two USBs at this end. So you've got a obviously a keyboard uh, sorry, a USB-A connector for the keyboard. And then you've got another one here, and this will be most likely for the pass-through. So one is labeled with the little keyboard icon, and then one is actually labeled um, just like a normal sort of USB logo. So that's to let you know which is for which. So you don't actually have to plug in this one if you don't have it, but I mean, the idea of that is you plug in both of these, and then you have that optional uh, USB pass-through that you can use for like your receiver, for your wireless mouse, or maybe a pair of headphones, or your phone if you just want to charge it, or even if you just want to plug in like a USB drive or something like that, like anything that is USB plug and play will work in that port. Um, in terms of the switches though, like th that's the thing that you're going to be touching and interacting with the most, and the build quality of this keyboard, like there is hardly any deck flex at all, like it is super solid. Um, nice and simple, clean. There's no wrist rest or anything like that. So you just got like a chamfered edge here. Um, super large control button, which is actually really, really nice to have. I didn't think that I would care too much about it, but the super large control button is definitely a nice to have, especially for FPS games. Um, it's not a super huge keyboard. Like it is a full size keyboard, but it doesn't actually feel like it's gonna take up that much more space than some of the other smaller keyboards that you get. Um, but the keys just feel amazing. Um, you do not, I mean, I was going to say you do have, because I thought there was a little bit, but there is hardly any key wobble on any of these at all. And there's no click. Every single key sounds pretty consistent with other keys on the keyboard. Like sometimes with keyboards, you find that like your, your, you know, your letters that you're typing on, they sound really good, but then you hit the space bar and it's got like a real loud clang or something. But every single key just feels so nice. I'm actually really gutted that I have to send this back now. Um, number pad, really nice to have. The font that they've got on the actual keys themselves are actually, you know, they're not too aggressive in terms of the, the gamery font that you've got there. I think everyone's gonna be pretty happy with that. And the keys actually, like it's all soft touch. So like even when your hands might get a bit sweaty, or you might have food or whatever or not, whatever it is that's on them, I don't feel like it's gonna show up or, or come across on the keyboard too much. And that alloy top cover is really just like, I don't know, it's like the icing on the cake. Um, if we're turning it over, you can see here, we've got a big juicy ROG logo on the back side of it. We've got some little feet here that you can flip up. Um, there's just one height adjustable, I guess, set size. So it's either flat or if you know you want to have a bit of an angle, you can do that. Um, you've got feet on every corner. You've got three along the, I guess, the front side if you're facing it that way. And then you've got ones on the feet for when you're standing them up. Or you've just got like feet on the corner here for when you're having it flat. Um, 
there's no cable routing or anything like that. It's just the one cable coming straight out and it's not a detachable cable. It would have been nice maybe to have like a USB-C detachable option there. Um, but I guess, you know, this is the kind of keyboard that you're plugging it in once and you're sort of leaving it there. You're not gonna be traveling around with this, I don't think too much. Um, the nice big logo on the back is pretty cool though. And then you've got here obviously some information about, you know, the keyboard, the make and the model and all that kind of stuff. So that's, that's the keyboard. That's, you know, my first impressions. Um, I'll do a bit of a typing test. I'll get it set up on the computer. We'll actually play some games, check out the Aura Sync software and um, yeah, see what else this keyboard has to offer. But for $179, this is actually incredible value and those optical switches just feel really, really nice. So it's been about a week and a half since I got the keyboard out of the box and gave you my initial impressions. I've been using this keyboard every single day and what I wanted to do as well is just show you, um, just using screen capture, how you can actually manage this keyboard with the ASUS Armory Crate software. So we've got the software on the screen at the moment. We've got a webcam pointed at the keyboard so you can see what happens when I change the lighting around. But basically this software allows you to manage a whole bunch of ASUS hardware and peripherals and manage the lighting and the RGB effects, which is something that I'm a big fan of. So you can see here we've got all of my compatible hardware and the current lighting effect that we've got is the rainbow effect. So my RAM, my GPU, my fan, my, uh, my keyboard, they're all going through that rainbow cycle, uh, which is really easy. So it's just, you know, one click to sort of have everything synced and have the lighting all sort of, you know, in sync with each other, which is great. Um, but if you want to go ahead and actually manage the keyboard specifically, you can just click on the device area up on the top left there and you can go to the ROG Strip Scope RX um, and you can see here we've got all of our default keybinds and what they do. Um, you've got the lighting section so you can go ahead and take it off or a sync and just have it set to a, a static color if you want to do that. You can adjust the brightness. You can go ahead and choose, you know, a different color if you want it to be blue or red or orange or whatever your heart desires, uh, you can do that. And then if you want to go ahead and do firmware updates, you can do that as well. So it's really, really easy. And then you can also create, you know, different profiles and all that kind of stuff. So super, super easy piece of software to manage your keyboard. And if you want to, you can also download the Aura Creator software, which is an add-on and you can go crazy creating, you know, different effects and you can create your own, you know, different patterns and things like that if you want to do that. So, you know, if we go down here and we choose ripple you can see if we press a key now the whole keyboard should basically light up um, if you want to go ahead and do starry night you can see the keyboard basically starts doing exactly what you tell it to do um, and I think that for you know a product that only costs $189 to get this you know, sort of next level of integration with the software and all the other hardware um, it's a really really good value product that actually performs really well and feels really really nice so this is the ASUS Aura Sync software with Armory Crate um, and basically it is just one of the best pieces of software out there in my opinion for managing a whole bunch of different hardware now in terms of what I actually think of this keyboard this is easily one of the best value keyboards that I can think of at this price point to get these optical switches which feel amazing for gaming and for people who are into FPS games where like you know the difference between winning and losing can sometimes be a keystroke the optical switches in my opinion definitely felt like way more responsive than um, any other mechanical switch that I've ever tried I absolutely love the hell out of this keyboard and you know, the fact that it's only $189 just blows my mind because I've tried keyboards like from Logitech, for example, that retail for 
probably like over $300 or around that $300 mark. Um, it's just crazy that they can sell whatever they're selling and it does not feel as good, does not respond as good, in my opinion, as the Strix Scope RX. It is one of the best keyboards that I've ever used and if you're thinking about it and you're on the fence, just pull the trigger because it honestly will not disappoint you and I think you'll be very, very happy. And if, you know, I'm wrong and you hate it, I apologize, but honestly, I've been using this for a week and a half and I'm actually kind of almost upset because I have to send it back to ASUS. So, that's how much I love this keyboard. Um, now, if you guys like this kind of content and you enjoyed this video, don't forget to chuck it a like, get subscribed. Big thank you to ASUS for sending this over four of you once again. They haven't paid me to say any of this. I honestly just love this keyboard. Um, so yeah, thanks for the uh, thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.